Hi everyone, uh, I'm Echoes and I'm a VTuber, and I'll be going over episode 3 of Mecha Ude, where we actually learn quite a bit. We learn more about the artificial Mecha Ude, the person who wields it, and also a little bit more about Aki herself, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let's get started. So again, we get a sort of like a, um, a perspective of a side character, where they mention how um, some middle school kid revived Alma, and then you can see that this guy works for arms because of his blue outfit, and yep, whoever heard of rising with a hoodie? And then you can see that that green hair kid from the opening and from the previous episode pops up, and he says, oh, uh, or, and he's asked, you're a mecha Ude wielder, right? See, he kind of has this evil look right here. They get the opening, which I'll skip for now. And then you can see that, um, <laughs> that in a way, uh, Alma is kind of doing like this workout right here. I'm happy helping me. And you can see he's doing the, <laughs> the, uh, one punch man, uh, workout, which is pretty cool. Not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Glad, happy you're helping me, but when you do anything, and then we learn a bit more about uh, Alma himself. There's some things while you were asleep. The Arbitrum you currently possess. Power generated by human, the human which generates the Mecha Ude. This is the Arbit Arbitrum needed by a Mecha Ude wielder. You see that uh, the amount that Hikaru has is so much lower than usual. There, whereas you're not cut out to, at all to be a Mecha Ude uh, wielder. That's impossible. That guy's being pretty harsh. I want to in my movements. He's the one who woke Alma from his sleep. Also an inconvenient state of being derived to a piece of clothing. Can bring Alma's power. And now we need to leave Alma in your care. You can see that he's a nice guy and everything. So your energy right now is a problem. Carl has the power to draw Alma straight. What well, is true. That's what Aki says. Let me train him. <laughs> it's it's kind of cute that she's like using both of her mecha ude to help her eat as at tables essentially because of all the burgers and fries and stuff is she doing anything so atrium is pretty much about the spirit which is interesting just set yourself up as much as you can anyways i guess it's what matters most is that when he needs to use his the powers of alma he needs to be like in the mode i guess when I wanted to help Alma. And it is occurring where thieves are being strip uh are stripping Mecha Ude wielders of their Mecha Ude. Yeah, I guess we see what the Mecha Ude were. Third theft this week. Must be a new agent for the Kagami group. We retrieve the Mecha Ude as fast as possible. Forcibly remove someone's Mecha Ude, they'll die within a few days. So is this because their age um, starts leaking out from the Darius point? Still don't understand what Ar Arbitrium is. But we do know it has a major effect on a human's biological functions. So it's kind of like energy that everyone has. Of course, that you gotta be careful. Your job is to protect Alma. Oh yeah, um, she notices that it's a worm type based on the markings. That's pretty important. The layer of personal feelings can involve focus on the mission. Personal feelings, and she doesn't now. It doesn't mention what happens. And then you can see that um, the guy who escaped, his name is Jun. He is someone from Expansion Division 3 that helped them escape, which is the people from the previous episode. I'm sure it's okay just to go out on your own, want to help. Then you see these uh, the, these guys are looking for Jun. Big kid, but he's present Kagami's little brother. Pretty important guy. We're the Kagami group. You know anything about worm type Mecha Uri? And then you see. These guys don't really know, but they're like, oh, they're getting ready to fight. They're with arms. Guy got blown away, and then this guy has asthma. He's uh, taking the medication. Dangerous to be here. You should get away. And then you can see that the, the uh, that purple one turned to a motorcycle. And you see that um, that guy used a motorcycle and jumped over this crate. And then um, Aki has to deal with all the lackeys. You see that the uh, Hikaru is trying to help that green-haired guy. Can't say hidden. And then you can see the green hair guy recognizes Alma. And then the motorcycle guy grabs him. And then Siaki's like, I told you not to leave. And then they all get knocked out. 
And you see Aki is about to like crush him with a giant crate. You have her worm type and everything. And the battle ends here. What are you thinking about hearing? Excuse me, I almost lost all because of you. You may have right now, you're powerless. And then you can see that um, green hair guy is like, oh, I found the one I was looking for. You should never take me somewhere so dangerous. Then I'm not allowed to leave your side. Let him do what he wants. He's protecting us. So, and then you can see, oh, what do you want with him? Do not want to waste time dealing with you? you and, the, and then she recognizes the worm type one. And then you can see that he stripped her of her Mecha Ude. I don't have time to waste. So you know what happens to Mecha Ude when they lose their Mecha Ude, right? He takes Sinus and Dex, and then they turn to cubes. Dear friend, right? Is someone interrupting me? Looks like they're all after all. Let's see. Everyone tells me not to do anything. But in a way, he doesn't want to be powerless anymore. So, and then you can see almost trying to comfort him. He's like, you take action when it counts, which is actually pretty important. You saved Aki before, right? For Alma, it would have just turned out just like before. So you're the one who reached out your hand. And that's always thanks to Alma that I've had the courage to do something. I can't do anything. Not my own, at least. Then you see that guy there, Jin. Like, can you that kid from before? What do you do? Why are you doing this? I want that Mecha Ude. Only after one thing, always have. Show me the power of your trigger arm. Want them back, you have a better fight. See that he's trying, but he's being overwhelmed by the worm. Do you think if you get them back, the girl will accept you? You sure he's useless? You thought something would change if you got the Mecha Ude, right? It's like you can't change anything. Yeah, this guy will, will definitely not have gone along with Alma. They think they're two different personalities too much. More than anyone. You see, he's separated to say goodbye to that worthless body. And then you see that they're able to move because they weren't derived properly for. Girl, hang in there, wake up. How can make that's been roughed, up, ripped off still move? Because they're technically not even connected, so. Hi, why? You can see that uh, Hikari reaches out here, which is the most important part. And they have that establish the proper connection this time using the arm. Which is pretty cool. You see it almost connects because he even has like the eye as well. It's a pretty uh, strong connection between the two. As much I think having that connection with the Mecha Ude uh, definitely helps strengthen the power. Because he may not have much of the Arbitrium power, but he has the willpower. And the willpower get, gives him the strength when he needs it to power uh, Alma. You can see he knocks out uh, Jun. And then this guy comes to collect. Kind of reminds me of um, Dr. Uh, what's it called? Not Dr. Eggman, it's like another one. Or like the one of the Spider-Man villains that has this really long tail. Other guy seems pretty slick though. And you can see he's just collecting the master. Was that guy? Stop whining. But it looks like uh, Aki's saved by Hikaru because uh, this guy with the long tail gave him the um, Aki's Mecha Ude back. See that um, uh, Hikaru's trying to repair his sweater? We're looking for the one who killed my family, which makes sense. Only clue we've got. I also like this part here when he gets to see her face properly. It's really well animated. It's hard to see with the with the screenshots here, but it's really beautiful. Thank you for saving me. And then she tries to sew it back, but she's hurting him. We're all gonna move into a new dimension. You see that uh, Aki is really loves the cookies. <laughs> all right, let's go. Get the ending, and then you guess to get this interesting preview at the very end. Where you see someone else is holding a picture, I'm assuming Aki is with her sister. Because the thing is, Aki believes that her whole sister was, uh, sorry, her whole family was killed by a worm type Mecha Ude. But it looks like this person is someone else, it seems. But it looks just, kind of just like her, but with... I don't know if this is the worm type one that they, they mentioned before. But it kind of reminds me of kind of like a, the red color kind of reminds me of like a rebel or something. So it's interesting. Probably this is the twin of Aki. The, I don't know if uh, they've met while they're Mecha Ude users. But yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, we may learn about her more next episode, which is interesting. But yeah, overall lots of good information. Not as much as the last episode, of course. We mostly learn about Jun, who um, uses the artificial Mecha Ude. And we also have, um, we get uh, Hikaru bonding more with Alma via the Derising. 
which is pretty cool. But yeah, overall, a good episode. Not as battle focused, but we get a bit more um, substance and some good chemistry, which helps. Anyway, I'm looking forward to next episode we, uh, for to learn a lot more and uh, hope you have a good rest of your day.